Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Royo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it was actually supposed to be on and live many, many hours ago, but I've had a lot of construction noise here this morning and I couldn't film. But I'm still excited nonetheless to show it to you guys now because it's a cool way that you can build your own website for free and take advantage of everything we learned in the last lesson with SEO and Google Trends and create websites to support your print on demand. And this tutorial, while I'm using stuff from Redbubble, from my Redbubble shop, is something that you could do if you have a Society6 shop, if you have a Zazzle shop, if you even have print on demand on Etsy. And it's just a way to take all of the lessons that we've learned in the SEO video, all of the things that you can't do. You can't create a full blog post on Etsy for best dad mugs, and you can't promote your Redbubble mugs on Redbubble with Redbubble tags because it makes no sense and everything there is Redbubble anyway, but you can do it on your own website. Now, this website is not what I'm using for my blogs. I'm using my own domains and my own hosting services, which cost money. And there will be a video on how to set up these more advanced websites with your own domain and own hosting later on in the month of April. But for today, we have a free tutorial about how to build a website in a matter of hours. And yes, this is a learning curve. What I'm doing right now in two hours can take you several days to make or a day to make and it's all about practicing. And the thing is that once you take these websites, you can make anything from them. You can create the whole website about your fashion and add in you know, men's collection and women's collection. You can make a website just for baby t-shirts or make a website for yoga mats or make a website for stickers. But a few days ago, I asked you guys, what do you want me to make this website about? What should be the main topic? Care to guess which one you chose? So if you're watching this as a live premiere, I just have to say one more time, this is not a live video. I'm not recording this right now. I am, however, with you on the live chat somewhere around these edges, and we're watching this together. So if you have any questions throughout this video, you can write them in the live chat, and you can also write down in the live chat if you think that, what topic you guys chose. What do you think most people wanted to see a website about? I can't wait to see your responses and comment as we go. I will remind you, however, that if you have a deeper question, something really long you want to ask me, something you saw in the video and you want me to explain and elaborate on further, the live chat is super small and tiny with few words that you can send in a message. Just put that down in a comment below and I will answer once the video is done. You can also comment down below if you want me to make more websites like this with other ideas. I am thinking about doing something like how to promote your print on demand designs with a free fashion blog. Let me know if that is interesting to you. Without further ado, the topic that you guys chose for your own free website is mugs. Yes! Then we're going to take on some crazy mugs. Well, not crazy, because I'm not that crazy. We're gonna take mugs from my store and I'm gonna show you how I place them on a website. So I'm just gonna run down with you guys what we're gonna have in this next segment of the video, which will be my screen. I'm gonna take you to wordpress.com. WordPress is an amazing technology that basically allows you to build your own website using pre-made sections. It is called a CMS, a content management system, that basically allows you to create everything without going into the code like a developer or a programmer. And it's amazing because you can create pages and blog posts and portfolios and galleries, upload images and change the fonts and change the colors and really play around with it as if it was, you know, a PowerPoint presentation. I am going to take you step by step on how to build up this free website and I hope that I managed to do it step by step because I've been working with WordPress for I think seven or eight years now so it's kind of comes naturally to me so when I started recording the screen I was like no no you have to explain what you're doing so I hope that I explained it well but you know if you take this and try it for yourselves, just play my favorite game what does this button do and try to click on things and see what happens for this tutorial, I'm using WordPress.com. WordPress.com is also a hosting service with the WordPress technology, but when I'm doing my own domain and hosting, I am using just the WordPress technology from WordPress.org. 
but we are going to do it with WordPress.com because they have a free website option. For example, if the name of your shop would be My Crazy Mugs, it's not going to be MyCrazyMugs.com, it's going to be MyCrazyMugs.wordpress.com, and yes, WordPress sometimes has Google ads running on it because it's their website, but it's the easiest and fastest way to create a free website to just promote several of your products. And this is important because you can also do things that don't exist on Redbubble. For example, what I said in my previous SEO video, which is to create this combination of bath mats and shower curtains that match, or sort of show off how a wall clock can have the same design as a wall tapestry, or show off, you know, different types of fashion altogether, like, you know, couples, t-shirts, and stuff like that. For this tutorial, I also gave out an example of how to show off having mugs with matching coasters because they go along and they're super cute together. You can also use this tutorial to create blog posts like best dad mugs for 2021, creative coffee mugs for moms, mugs for dog lovers, and just write down articles which I will also show you. So I'll take you to my computer, I will show you how to access wordpress.com and how I start a website from scratch to finish. Now it's not going to be perfect. I don't have all of my designs ready made to put them just on mugs at the moment. I don't, I didn't fill out, you know, I didn't create like a 20 page portfolio of everything, but I am showing you how to create every single page and how to create a blog post, how to create your about page, how to create a link to your Redbubble store from a button or from a text and how to create your sidebar and how to design well, not design because the theme that I'm using today has an instant homepage design for a portfolio. This theme is called Sketch, and you can create this WordPress website with any other theme. This is just one, one tiny way out of 2,000 options and possibilities with WordPress. Before we get started, if you have not watched the SEO video that I made three days ago, stop right now, stop watching this video, go and watch the SEO video because you are going to need to understand what I'm doing in these steps. These videos are sort of based on each other. So the SEO video needs to come first before watching this one. And even when I think about it, the Pinterest video, because it relates a lot to what we are about to do here. And the reason why we're setting this whole thing up again, and for some of it, I'm going to use playset mockups. So, you know, SEO video comes before this one, but if you've already watched the SEO video, please stay on with me as we go to my screen for this. It's going to be rather long. I think it's going to be my longest video yet. Grab a notebook, grab a pen, or just watch and enjoy and then rewatch it later as you are making your own free website. So take it away from me, laptop me. <laughs> and I will see you after I'm done with the screen share. So the first thing that I'm doing is opening an incognito window because I want to show you wordpress.com but if I do it from my own browser it's just going to remember me and just log into my account. So basically wordpress.com as I said before holds the technology but also hosts it as well as has free plans and to just get started just click on start your own website and either log in or create your WordPress account. And I'm not gonna show you this because I've done it, but basically all you have to do is put in your email address, choose a username and choose a password, and then it will take you on to WordPress, and then you have to verify your email. But let's get away from this and go back to my WordPress. When I log into my WordPress, I'm automatically logged into one of my previously built websites which is something that I started working on for this free tutorial, which is called 13 laptop sleeves, because people are searching for 13 laptop sleeves. But then when we guys decided on mugs after doing the SEO research, I forgo that and I'm going to start a new one. So when you're new, you have my sites and add new site. And now I have to choose the name of my site, which I can change later, but I hate changes. So let's just quickly think because I'm thinking like May mugs or pretty mugs. I have a lot of Mandela mugs, so I can make a whole website just about Mandela mugs. And maybe I'm just going to call it Mandela mugs for now and show you all the mugs and different approaches. And then I'm just going to change it for myself to Mandela mugs. So I'm just going to call my website Mandela mugs. 
and continue. And now it wants me to select if I want an annual plan, if I want to buy a domain. And I don't want to buy a domain because, as I said, this is a free tutorial. You can continue with your own domain, host freely or host with plans. But if you want to do a whole domain plus hosting, I would recommend waiting a few days for another tutorial just on that because WordPress itself is pretty expensive and I have better hosting solutions that I use for the sites that I do pay on. So for now, I'm going to choose Mandela Mugs and my website is going to be mandelamugs.wordpress.com and continue. And now it wants me to choose a design. I already have a theme in mind that is amazing for, you know, creating this portfolio of mugs, which is called Sketch, but I can't find it here. So I don't really like this step, but I'm just going to show it to you because maybe you guys would like it. Let's say I go on and click on this one and I can choose the main font that I will have. I can look how it looks on a mobile phone or on an iPad and just browse through, which also this could be a really nice template, but this is more of a template for bloggers. But for now, I can just click on continue. And now it will ask me what other features I need, like a customer domain, if I want to make it a full on store, which by the way, if you make it a full on store, you can't work with Redbubble. This is for people who work with flat on print and demand providers like Printful or Printfy. I can add plugins, SEO tools, image storage, make it ad free, but I'm just going to skip it for now. And again, it's going to ask me what kind of hosting plan do I want. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down and select the one that costs zero. And it's building my website. And now it automatically sent me to edit the home page, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to click here and go back to dashboard. If I click here, I will be able to visit my website, which currently looks like this because that's the theme that I've chosen. Again, if you want, you can obviously go back and when you do it yourself, you can look into different templates and find what you want, but I already know what I want and it wasn't one of these options. So I'm gonna go here and this is my dashboard. This basically controls everything on my website. I can update posts here. I can look at some of the posts that are already made with this theme. I can go on to pages where you have a blog page, a home page. I can go into all the media files, all the photos of this website. I can edit comments if people have sent me comments or commented and I want to approve them or not. And I can control basically everything through appearances. So I'm going to click on themes because I have a theme that I really want. And now this theme, Couture, is not really my thing. It's more of a theme for fashion blogs. Even though you can use this theme to write fashion blogs if you're promoting your fashion and just make this theme about you. If you want me to create a full video on how to use this theme and basically create sort of like a fashionista blog that basically recommends your Redbubble products, please let me know. I think it will be actually fun. But for now, let's stick with what we have, which is the mugs. And I'm going to go to show all themes. Scroll down. And here I have Sketch, which is my favorite free WordPress theme for beginners to basically create something that looks like a portfolio. And as you can see, some of these also cost money. And I'm not going to use them because this is a free website. I'm going to go into Info. And I'm going to activate this design for free. And it asks me for two things. Either I want to read more about it or just go ahead and customize it. So I'm just going to go ahead and customize it. Basically what it did is it took all the information from that couture theme, all the upload, the instant upload of, you know, from my blog and all the layout and just changed the font to the font of the Mandela mugs, the font of the new theme. And it has a totally new look. It's very clean. That's why I really like this theme because you can really focus on the design of your items. I'm going to go to site identity. And where it says Mandela mugs, I'm going to write tagline, cool, coffee mugs, or something like that. 
And here I can create or add a logo, which we will do later on. I'm going to go to colors and backgrounds where I can choose the background of this website. Let's choose a pattern and see what happens. The patterns appears on the sides. This is called the collapse menu button that allows you to basically look at your site as is. And when you click on it again, you can edit it. Maybe I like these background patterns. Let's choose something like this because my website is about Mandela's, even though it kind of looks weird now, but I think I like it. It's just an option, you know? What if I choose like a black one? Oh, I really like this one. I'm such a minimalist. I'm totally going to go with a black one. And then we're going to move back, go to fonts, where I can basically style all the fonts of my theme. I wonder if they have laundry now here because that's my favorite font. I'm trying to think about fonts that I can find here that I can also find on Canva because I really want my logo and everything that I do to match all the banners that I'm going to create and I'm going to create them on Canva. And I already know that Lobster 2 is on Canva as well as Lato. And I'm basically choosing two different types of fonts here. I'm choosing the font for all the headers, all the titles, and I'm choosing, and as you can see, it already changed here. And I'm going to choose the base font of the theme, which let's say I really like Lato. Let's see how it looks. Or Josephine Sands. Yeah, Josephine Sands is totally my thing. So this is what I'm going to choose. Go back to header image and write down this number, which is 1092 on 400 because I will use this number on when I want to design the header image for my website. I'm going to go to menus where you can basically select what's going to be here on the menu on top, but I still haven't created all the pages that I wanted, so I'm going to disregard it. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm doing the first setup, and then I'm going to build the pages and build the portfolio, and then I'm going to go back to that setup and make sure that everything is organized. Widgets is a way for me to control the sidebar. And let me have a look if this theme even has a sidebar. So this is an exemplary post that they wrote down. If I click on add widget, and let's say I click on image, and add image, and just go here to media library. Choose one of the images that were already in this template. And as you can see, a sidebar was created. We're going to leave it like this for now because I just want the sidebar to exist. And go back, go to home page settings, where I'm going to choose that the home page will be a page called home and the post page will be a page, a page called blog. Go back to Mandela mugs. And what's going to happen now is whenever someone is going to click on the word blog, they're going to see the latest articles on your blog. I'm going to go back, go back to portfolio and choose hide title and content on portfolio page and just hit that and go back and save my changes. Now I'm going to click on X here, go back to pages, find the home page, go to page attributes and as a template, portfolio page template and update. And now when I go back to my WordPress, if I go back to my home and I click on visit site, the front page is going to be completely empty because we have selected in the customization that the portfolio page would just show just the portfolio page and nothing else. And I don't even have a portfolio. And that's why this is completely blank. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on portfolio. Now I know that a lot of people have a different system. They want to do the design first. I first upload the products in my portfolio and then I see, you know, something that matches it. So I'm going to go to portfolio and I don't have a project, but I've already downloaded a lot of the photos of my mugs from Redbubble. And as you can see here, I also downloaded a bunch of coaster photos, which I will be using later on 
create sort of a matching set with a coaster and coffee cup kind of thing. Maybe I'm going to do it on the blog because this is a good blogging idea to show people that your mugs could be accessorized with their own special matching coasters. As I'm on the project page, my portfolio, I'm thinking that there are different ways to approach this. Let's say you have three collections, like main collections in your website, one for dog lovers, one for cat lovers, and one for funny jokes. So you can create a portfolio for cat mugs, dog mugs, and funny mugs. However, I don't really have this in my shop, and you can also create your portfolio based on the three types of mugs that Redbubble has, which is the classic mug, we have the tall mug, and we also have the travel mug. And I'm thinking maybe I will create these three. And within these portfolios, you can show off the same mugs on their different sizes. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to go to portfolio and I'm going to go to project types, which is basically the categories of my portfolio. And I'm going to type in here, classic mugs, 11 ounce. Maybe that's too long. Classic mugs. And on the description, and if you haven't seen my SEO video, please stop watching this tutorial right now. Go ahead, watch the SEO video, because this will not make sense without it. I've already done my SEO research by going into Google Trends and going into Word Tracker, which I use to know what people are searching for, to be able to write this description. So I'm going to write here a collection of my classic mugs. Ceramic mugs made with my own designs. 11 ounce coffee mugs with cool patterns. Perfect as cool mugs gift ideas. And what you see here is classic mugs, ceramic mugs, 11 ounce coffee mugs, cool mugs and mugs gift ideas, which is basically how I took all these keywords and put them in a sentence. And I'm gonna add this project type. I'm gonna do the same for tall mugs. Write down special and unique cool mugs with a capacity of 12 ounce. These 12 ounce coffee mugs are ceramic mugs and perfect as mug gift which is basically the same cool mugs 12 ounce coffee mugs ceramic mugs mug gifts then let's go with travel mugs my travel mugs come with cool and unique designs these are 15 ounce coffee mugs with lids with lid great as a travel tumbler or coffee lover gift ideas again packed with keywords and i'm going to add this project type again and now i'm going to go back to my portfolio all projects and click on add new project. The first thing I'm gonna do with a new project is click on featured image, set featured image, go to my file, grab everything, and scroll it here until you see this area here appears. And obviously if you've downloaded 3000 of your photos, don't do it this way. I just have only 22 photos here right now, so it's cool. And I'm gonna let them upload. While they're uploading, I'm gonna go and make myself a cup of coffee, but with the magic of video editing, I'm gonna come back with a fresh cup of coffee, they will all be uploaded, and you will not notice a thing. You will not see how long it took, because you will see the full-on uploaded mugs within three, two, and one. And it's all done, as well as my new soy latte to open up this morning with, and it's also all chosen, which I don't want, so I just clicked somewhere and it's gone. And let me just try and think what is the first mug that I want to upload. Because I, I made a variety here of some of my mugs. I made the tall mugs, the travel mugs, the classic mugs. And I'm just going to choose 
this one. And as you can see here, I've also only chosen Redbubble mockups, but I really do recommend Playset mockups for these kind of projects because they look more unique. I just didn't want to make it, you know, obligatory for you guys. We're going to be talking about Playset mockups later on this video. So I chose this Hearts tall mug and I'm clicking on Insert. And here I'm going to write a title and the title needs to relate to that mug. It should be the name of that mug. So it's going to be Blue Hearts Romantic. Let's just go with Blue Hearts Tall Mug. And I'm going to go to Project Types, click on Tall Mugs, and go to Tags. And my tags here are basically what Google will know about this specific page that I'm building. And my tags are going to be 12 ounce mug. Let's go also with 12 ounce separately. Coffee mug, romantic mug, tall mug. I can also write here red bubble mugs because if people are searching for it and it's gonna be enough on my website, it's gonna be awesome. But you can't write red bubble mugs on red bubble because they're all red bubble mugs. And I'm gonna choose here blue coffee mug, hearts, tea mug because people are also searching for tea mugs and tea mugs are basically the same as coffee mugs, but everybody's writing coffee mugs. So let's write tea mugs and see what happens. And maybe also write mug gifts for wife. We're gonna go down and we have also the project tags, which later on enables me to create different types of collection. But here I'm gonna write down hearts, blue hearts, romantic, tall mug, basically write down the same. It's just another way to show Google what this project is about. And now I need to start thinking what I'm gonna write here. But let's just preview how this page is going to look like. As you can see, this page looks like nothing. It doesn't even have my featured image yet. So I'm gonna close this and know that here I need to add my featured image again, because this image is only going to appear on the main area of search. So I'm gonna write down here, I just love making unique coffee mugs with romantic patterns. I created this adorable watercolor blue heart and made it into a romantic tall mug. Perfect as a gift for wife, girlfriend, or even yourself. And this is a Redbubble tall, tall mug. I mean, they're not gonna be able to get it from me. So I'm just gonna quickly go and try to find my Redbubble tall mug here. And there it is. Now that I have, this is important because I have the link here. Now that I'm in here, I can see the features because all of these are true. So I'm just gonna grab all of them, copy paste them here and rewrite them in a way that is best for me, which will be this romantic tall mug is, I do bullet points, 12 ounce of liquid, and it's 354 milliliters, has a taller and wider mouth than classic ceramic mugs. Base mug diameter, 2.5 inches. I'm just literally taking what they say, but I'm not copying it word for word. Top of the mug opening diameter is 3.6 inches or 9.2 centimeters. It is a big mug. <laughs> Top includes a comfortable handle, dish washer, safe ceramic mug. And I don't need the rest. I'm just gonna grab all of this and take it away. And now I'm gonna add here an image by selecting an image from my media library, which is the same exact image. And I can also write here, let's go down below, this unique, let's make a title, you know, because Google likes it when we have headings and titles. So I'm gonna choose an H2 title, and just so you know, H means heading, H1 is top heading, like on your website, H2 is subheading, and Google reads all headings up to H1, H2, H3, and H4 as data about this page. 
So what I'm going to write here is I'm going to write down the blue love mug, 12 ounces. Go down and just continue writing a bit more text. For example, this is a unique, high quality ceramic mug with a 12 ounce capacity and a lovely wrap around design of blue hearts made with digital watercolor. This mug is a great way to show your love to someone important to you as they feel your love every morning as they drink their morning coffee or tea. To get this tall 12 ounce romantic mug, not to get to see more details, I'm sorry, I'm not very sales oriented, I'm always like, I don't sell to people, I help them to buy, that's kind of my thing. So to see more details about this tall romantic mug, as well as other mugs I signed, and I just want to do like a click here maybe change this one here to a heading. I'm thinking maybe also let's see if they have like interesting buttons here. And they do. Let's click on button and just write down click here. Let's delete this one and take the click here. And put it in the center. And on the click here, I'm going to go to my romantic mug, if I remember where I put it, grab the link, go back to here, and on the button, see this? This means link. Type in link URL and open it in a new tab. This is important. If you don't do this and people were going to click on this, they're just going to go to the tall mug page instead of this page. And I don't want them to lose this page because they could find still, you know, different types of things that they like here. And I'm going to go here and delete this. I don't need this part. And click on Publish. I can click on View Project to see how it looks here. And I don't think it looks that good now that I'm looking at it. I don't like the background of the design. I think maybe it should be different. But if I go to Home Page now, it's going to show this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my websites and I'm going to go to Appearances and Customize. Because now that I have a first project, I kind of have this feel of what I want to do and it makes things easier for me. So I'm going to go to Fonts. I'm going to change this lobster because it doesn't really look good. Because now I know exactly where it's going to be. And I really like Anonymous Pro and we also have it, you know, on Canva. Let's just go into this one and see how this page looks now. The Josephine might be a bit too much. I don't know. Although I kind of like this combination. I don't know if a lot of people would agree, but I like this combination. But I do need to go back to colors and backgrounds. And maybe choose a different background. Oh, this is way too much. Way too much. Maybe make it like this. Save the changes, exit, go back to portfolio, edit my Blue Hearts tall mug because I want to have a photo at the top. I want to have a photo that people see when they walk in between this part and this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva, click on create a design, and I'm going to choose the exact same dimensions that we've seen before, 1092 on top of 400. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get my mug over here. I like it when I go to Canva, you can see the photos that I have in the background. These are actually photographies that I made. And on April 2nd, I will show you what I put them on. Let's just try and look at this one and see if Canva can clean out the background automatically, or I'm going to use this background. It doesn't really matter for me at the moment. I usually prefer to even just use a mock-up here because it will look better, but hey, Canva cleaned it up. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize these areas because I don't need them and sort of make a pattern for myself with this mug. Just put it all over the place. Again, it's not something you have to do with each product. You can also use the Placeit mock-ups to feature as the first photo that people see when they go in. I just, you know, I don't know. I want something special and it's a cool technique. I don't even know if it's going to look good. I'm just, you know, trying it out for the first time right now. But I have seen places where they have these like floating mugs and it looks kind of cool. So I think, yay, I'll just give it a go, you know? And I think that that is the point of, you know, trying to make things just try. I mean, I know it takes time, but the more, if you find this good and right system, then the next time I want to make it, it's going to be a lot easier. So I just have a bunch of floating mugs here like this. And maybe let's choose a background for them. I think this is cute. Or I can also have something like this. And let's just take all of them away. Have just one. Go to text, add heading, write down the romantic mug. And the text that I choose here, I'm going to match it to the text of my website, which was anonymous, right? Anonymous Pro, I think I used. And I've also had one with the Josephine. And this would be the romantic mug. And here I can write down 12 ounce drink mug with a romantic blue hearts pattern. If I choose to do this one, it's just going to be my system for everyone. So whenever I have this tall mug, I'm just going to go back here and change the mug type. So I'm going to download both of these photos and decide later. But I'm downloading them as JPEGs. I don't need them at their top quality because on PNG, they're going to be crazy heavy. Unzip it. Go into the file. Rename them because the name of the file before you upload it is important. I just want to show you something. Because when I went into mugs and downloaded them, I actually changed all their names. Like Paris Coasters, Cool Coffee Coasters, Orange Mandela Mug, Coffee Mugs. So the names are important as of this stage. And I'm going to head back to my portfolio. Enter down. Add an image. Select an image from Media Library. I've already uploaded this one. Let's just drag the second one here. And let's insert it. Let's update this page. And on a new page, I already know that my name is mandelamugs.wordpress.com, which only I can see now, by the way. Only I can see because I'm the only person connected. Let's go back inside. And this is what people will see. You can obviously upload this image differently. You can crop out this area when you upload it. It's really recommended to use Placeit mockups and not Redbubble mockups because they ain't perfect. And notice that when I click here, a new window will open that will feature this mug on Redbubble. And it's important that this will be a new window. So I just skipped ahead and uploaded a bunch of other mugs here. So if I click on my Mandela mugs, which is my homepage, I will see other mugs that I have uploaded. I didn't create the internal part of them, so they're blank. I just created the category. So for example, if I go in here, this is what I'm seeing now. But the process is exactly the same with this one. It's creating a nice heading, having a nice photo to display here describing what the mug is, showing off the mug, creating a different type of text, and click here that will send you to the product 
and more projects in the bottom, which is an automated tool that just offers it automatically. So now what I have, if I go to Mandela mugs, I have a lot more designs that I've uploaded with my unicorn and my thank you mug. And I don't know if you can see here on the first page, but some of the items are the same, just a different type of mug. So my trophy husband coffee mug and my trophy husband tall mug. And if I go to previous, I can also see the other things that I've uploaded and you can see that I adjusted the Tumblr. The way that I did it is pretty simple. I just went onto Canva and created an 800 by 600 design and sort of placed the Tumblr in the middle. So what I did here, I'm just gonna show it to you real quick, is I had a Tumblr, I did all this thing here in Canva, selected the background and found the exact color of the background and downloaded them this way so they would look good on the main page and not look cropped out. So now that I have this, I need to move on to create my essential pages and my menu. So I'm gonna go back to my sites, which basically takes me to the login to the dashboard. And I'm going to go to pages, and I have a blog page and a home page. I'm gonna click on add new page, and it's gonna offer me different variations of pages as well as a blank page option. But I do have an about page here, so I might as well use it, right? So I'm gonna click on the about that I want. You have an about with a photo like this or this way. I think I kinda like this one, so I'm just gonna click on it. And it will automatically create this page for me. So what I need to do with this photo here is just click on it and replace it by opening the media library and adding my own photo, which I won't do right now because, you know, I don't have to, it's just for the demo. But this is what you will be doing. You can even write here about me or about the designer, but you know, make it short. And then I'm gonna write here, hey, I'm May and I love designing coffee mugs. Again, this is a mugs website. I can click here and write down I'm a graphic designer and illustrator and I am obsessed. Of course, every time I write obsessed, I make it grammatically incorrect. Obsessed with coffee. That's why I opened a profile on a site called Redbubble, and obviously, you know, it can be Society6, this line below, called Redbubble, to create physical mugs made with my own ideas. You can check out my cool Redbubble store here. And once I wrote here, let me just go back to my entire store, grab the link to my shop, tap on the word here, Control B, which makes it bold, click on the link, add link URL, save it, click on it again, open it in a new tab. This whole section was made as, you know, a CV, which I don't need, so I'm just gonna blinkly just delete it. And this is, hey, I'm May, and I love designing coffee mugs. These are my contact information. I can go here, create a new block that has a paragraph, write down a bit of info and move it upwards. And here you can write more about yourself, more about why you love designing mugs, more about coffee. But for now, we're just gonna have a bunch of gibberish because you know the content here really doesn't matter that much for me now for this tutorial, just you know as you know how to build it. And let's preview this page. So this page will say about me, there will be a photo of you, here you can see that the heading doesn't really look good with this text, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna copy all this text up to here and then remove this block. I'm gonna go here, type in enter, go up, choose a paragraph of a heading, and then just grab my text from here and place it on this block. Take this block, remove it, and I have what I need right here. And let's see now how it looks about me. Hey, I'm May, and I love designing coffee mugs. You can find la 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 here. Awesome. I'm gonna close this up and publish this page.
And what I'm going to do now is go here back to my editor, view pages, and go back to clicking on appearances and customize. I want you to notice the menu here and how it's written out. It basically looks like this small little thing that we don't really like. But this design is basically going to be just for tablets because once I hide controls and it opens up as a full website, you can see that it says what I want to say, which is home and blog. So I'm going to go to menus, which is what will edit this one. Go to primary. So I have home and I have blog. And I'm going to add items. And I'm going to click on add about me because that's the page I want to add. And I'm also going to add projects, but I don't want to add the projects themselves. No, I want to add the project types, which is classic mugs, tall mugs, and travel mugs. And then take the about me below and the blog below. So what's going to happen once I collapse this is that this is what people are going to see. But I don't know if I like it because it's two lines and I might not like the way it looks like this. So I can do a little trick with the menu by adding an item that is a custom link that goes nowhere, which means that the URL is just going to be a tag sign. But the link text is going to say my mug collections or my mugs. And I'm going to add that to menu. I'm going to take my mugs, place them beneath home, and then take the classic mug and drag it here. That will create a sub menu. So, what I'll have here now is this classic mugs, tall mugs, travel mugs. If I click on classic mugs, I'm just gonna see the classic mugs. And as you remember, once we did the collections, we wrote down a few words. So, they're gonna appear here. And then we have the tall mugs with the words we wrote here and the travel mugs. The about me page that has a sidebar that we're gonna be working on. And the blogs page that also has a sidebar. I'm going to go back to the main page, reopen my menu at the bottom, and go where I can see header image. And right now we don't have an, a header image, so I'm just going to click on one. And this image will appear here. I already know the sizes because I looked at them earlier, and these are the exact sizes that I did to create the beautiful, you know, the parts of the posts that I wanted to write, the parts of the collections. So it's the same size. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go back to where I have some of my pretty mugs. And I'm just going to drag some of them here onto Canva. And I'm actually thinking that for this part, I might want to use Place It because, you know, this is the banner. This is what everyone's going to see. So I'm going to quickly go on to Place It. And place it is a wonderful place for mockups. I'm just going to go here to the mockups category and go to mugs. I'm going to leave a link down below for place it so you can guys go and check it out. And here I have different types of mugs with different types of banners, different types of settings. You know, it looks a lot more beautiful. For example, you know, to put a mug like this instead of just the regular Redbubble mugs. And obviously you can do it for all of your products. But what I'm looking for now is something that will be nice and, you know, horizontal to fit my banner. By the way, they have awesome mugs for holidays. So like, you know, Christmas mugs. I'm thinking this one might fit because of the size of it. But I'm trying to also look at other things. Maybe this one because it looks festive. I kind of like it. And again, I'm only looking at the moment for horizontal ones because those are the ones that are going to fit my banner best. Or I'm going to make like a combination of several of those. So maybe I'm going to take this one, this girl, because she looks super cute. And in the middle, we're going to have something that is horizontally aligned and looks nice. I think I found one on the first page, but let's try and see what they have more. So scrolling down, I just want to find something nice and horizontal without a person. Or this person, because she's cute. Maybe this type of design. These are really awesome. So I basically chose this guy 
there was another coffee mug, but it wasn't the same coffee mug as place it. So I can do something like this as my main header, or I can try and think about something with these, you know, designs with these fonts or with these patterns that are blank. So I can also either do this, either sort of combine it and grab this cute little girl here and write down, let's grab this text, obviously change the color and write down, find the perfect, put this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all this all the way here and it's gonna be centered between this area and this area and grab this text here. Obviously make it black as well and find the perfect mug. And this is a part where your creativity comes in hand with your designs, with how you wanna style everything, how you wanna style your logo and your cover. I'm just doing this, you know, just to have something to show you guys. So find the perfect mug. You can actually take this one here and drag this one to here with the perfect mug. And on this side, I'm gonna take some of these transparent ones and put them here. Like this, and maybe the tumbler. Maybe let's switch between them, because this one is black and this one has color. So I'm gonna download both of these and see what looks the best. I don't have to choose the PNG, the JPEG works fine for me. And I need page number five and six to be downloaded. Let's quickly unzip this. Go back to my WordPress customizer, click on header image, add new image, and drag both of these here. I could have also just written Mandela mugs in the middle. But let's try it with this one. Select and crop. There is no cropping needed because I just, you know, took the exact same size that they wanted, which is incredibly important because WordPress actually tells you the size that you need here. So I can have something like this, and this would be my setup and my front header for every page on the website. Or I can change the image by adding new image and choosing this one. And this would be main image for basically everything in my website because if I go into my mugs and classic mugs, I will still see this. And now that I'm looking at it this way, I think that maybe I need to do something a bit different. Maybe remove this one here and write, you know, the text or the logo. But again, this is totally up to you. Right now I'm looking at this as the components that I have everything that I need. So I'm gonna open back the customizer page because I wanna work on my sidebar. And the way that to do it is to go to widgets and basically click on image. So the best images here would be full on square images. But what am I gonna put in square images? So one thing that I had in mind was to replace this image with one of the image of my coasters because I also have coasters, you know? So I'm gonna type in here, add the widget of a coaster and write down here, find matching coasters. And I will link this here to the link of my Redbubble coasters. So here I have the coaster page and I'm gonna just drop the link here. So if people are gonna click on this, they're gonna go to my Redbubble store and find my coasters. And I can also add another widget of text, for example. I'll place it on top and write down, welcome to Mandela mugs. And then just type here. If you can't find how to type here, just move on to text. Hey, I'm May, and I love making creative coffee mugs for anyone who wants some style in their morning coffee mug or evening teacup. Just write down some stuff. And again, this all takes up, you know, from what I chose as my font and as my style. Let's see how it looks. 
If it's too small, just make it bigger on the font selection. Just play around with it. But for me, it's fine. Welcome to Mandela mugs, la la la, fine matching coasters. You can also add a widget, for example, let's say I'm on Instagram and I want people to follow me on Instagram. So I will go back to Canva and I will choose, let's say, a 600 by 600 design. And I will go back to my uploads and choose one of my mugs and place it here. For example, this one. Let's place it a bit on the side. So I will go back to one of these pages where I already have the mugs without the background. And I'm going to choose the cactus one because it's really cute. Place it here. Put it on the side. Let's just go grab some text and write down follow me on elements. Instagram and let's see okay so I can use this one which is the official like Instagram style slogan but I am gonna need a background for this thing something that would fit the mug maybe now that I'm looking at it I want a different mug I'm such a perfectionist I hate this <laughs> Let me just put on, let's try and center it sort of, this, follow me on Instagram, and the follow me can be in the blue colors here. And download this photo, I can use it as JPEG, it's pretty big nonetheless. Go back to customizer, add widget, Click on image, drag the image, add image, drag it here. Wait for you see like, you know, when you see this sign, wait for it. Don't just drag it without seeing drop files to upload. And I'm going to add this to widget, write down title for your daily inspo something like that and obviously the link here would be to your Instagram and the sidebar is not going to be visible from the home page so if you go to home page you're not going to see it you're just going to see the banner you're going to see all of your collections but if you go to a specific page inside these pages like the cactus we have the cactus and portfolio pages are also not going to show sidebar Sidebar is going to be visible on other pages like the About Me page or your blog, which now has a bunch of stuff that were created by the previous theme that we're not going to be using. But I do think that having a blog could be useful, and I'm going to show you why. Let's just go on to one of these blog posts, like what's on my desk. And as you can see here, I immediately have this edit button. And I'm looking here and I have a featured image. And I know by looking at the page itself, let me just quickly save all the changes to our customizer and exit it and just look at the website as it is. So let's just go to my home and visit website. So I already know that if I go onto the blog, then I have, you know, this kind of feature here. So it's very slim, but the photo itself that it's driven from is quite bigger but I don't need it to be this big because it is gonna appear very slim here so what I do here is just um, I'm inspecting it's called inspect element so I'm just gonna click on it and once I hover over it it's gonna tell me the size and voila 1092 by 400 pixels so that's what I'm gonna choose for this one I'm just gonna go back here to the same size of the design and write down something like the name of the blog post. So I want to write a blog post about the fact that I have matching sets of coasters and mugs because I do. I have a lot of different sets of coasters and mugs that can be used together, purchased together, and people can actually have a set, which is something that I find cool and something blog worthy. And you can't really do it on Redbubble. You can't really go on Redbubble and say, hey, buy my matching set. And people don't always know how to look. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop one of these photos here. And I'm going to take the coasters photo to the other side. 
and let's just grab a piece of text because I want to write down that we have matching. Let's write mug and poster sets. I'm trying to see if I can place it in the middle so it's not it's still gonna look good. Maybe I need to move this around a bit or use a different mock-up. You really do need to go all out with your creativity on this one. This is, I, I do love the, sp the spoon feeding part, but this is not one of them. You are gonna have to think about what you wanna say and how you wanna say it. So we're gonna do mug and coaster sets like this and download this image. Let's write down mugs and coasters sets article mandela mugs funny mugs website something like this and download a jpeg version of page number seven which is this design and i'm going to go back here to edit post click on the image drag this and drop it here and insert it and update it so let's go back to the blog once it's updated. Yep. And refresh the page. And see mugs and coaster sets. Now I've already know I already know that when I go into the blog post itself, it doesn't have that feature image here. So I'm gonna go here and write down find unique mugs and coasters sets. And the first thing I'm going to do is drop the line here, add a photo, select it from my media library, and insert it. And once I click on this photo, I want to center it. And here I can write down, I love creating beautiful mugs, but I also create them with coasters too match. This way you could have a beautiful set to show your guests or just feel epically stylish home alone. And then I'm going to think about what I want to have. So I have a heading here that will say let, let's look at what kind of sets do I have because I have them all in my photos. I've downloaded them. So I have this Mandela set. I have this Mandela set. I think I downloaded more because they're, oh, the cool, the cool cactus. So let's just write, you know, cactus, coffee mug, and coasters set. Move down below and write down something like, I love cactuses. So I have created a cute little coffee mug with a funny cactus with sunglasses on that says, so, so cool. I also created a pattern of funny Cactuses with sunglasses and made it into a coaster set. Have a look at the two pieces of the puzzle. And as I'm writing it down, seriously, guys, make a website for puzzles. People are looking for jigsaw puzzles right now because they're super bored. Just make a website for jigsaw puzzles. I can't believe it wasn't on my list. So have a look at the two pieces of the puzzle, the cactus mug and the cactus coasters set. And what I'm gonna do here now is click on this and go with gallery, select images, media library, and I'm gonna choose my so cool, where are you? Where are you, my cool cat? Oh, this one and this one. And insert both. And they are together. 
what I'm going to do below here is add to get the maybe let's add two buttons. What do you think? Let's add a button. Write down cactus mug. And then add another button and say cactus coasters. And you already know, you've already seen how basically I just need to, you know, click on it and add the link to the cactus mug and the cactus coasters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the same thing all over again. So right now what I'm gonna have is a heading that says orange Mandela coffee mug and coaster set. I'm just gonna copy what I wrote here because you know I don't need to write all over again but you do. You need to write down you know with Mandela's with what you created talking about your design and then add a gallery click on select images media library and go and find my two set. And again, I think you can just click on over here and just say duplicate and then just pinpoint this to go below and here just write down Mandela mug and Mandela coasters and change the links and do the same thing over and over again. But what I do need to do here is go back to post, go back to the link because the link copied what's on my desk. I'm going to copy this link here without the word end, without the mark. So this will be my link now. The category of this, we don't have categories for the blog post and, and truly this is not the purpose of this blog post. Everything can be uncategorized, but let's just make a category and call it my mug collections, for example, and just add it and put everything in this category. You can also have categories for my creative process, uh, photos like real mug reviews if you've ordered. Again, this is all up to you and how creative you are. And here in the text, I'm going to write down Mandela mugs, red bubble mugs, red bubble coffee mugs, red bubble. And I don't know if you've seen, but red bubble, some people write it separately. Mugs, red bubble coasters, coffee mug coasters coaster set and let's just write down mug and coaster sets for example I don't want to have comments here I don't really want them and I'm gonna update this one last thing once I've done recreating this you know ping pong of all the different types of mugs and coasters that I have I can do something like add a line here like a separator line this line would be a white line. Let's color it up. You can also choose different colors. Just something to separate here. Let's go with white line. And then write down for more of my unique mugs. Visit my mug collection on Mandela mugs. And this whole thing would be linked to our homepage, okay? Let's just quickly update it and go back to my WordPress and go back to blog and have a look at this. As you can see, once I've edited this blog, it just opened it up full term. I'm gonna go back to my site where my dashboard is and I'm gonna go to settings and click on reading. And it says for each post and feed, please include this summary. However, the theme determines how content is displayed. So if you're using sketch theme, you might not be able to change this all the way. I'm gonna save the settings. We don't always have control based on how the theme looks. And again, when I'm making the full video, we you know with your own domain, and a different type of WordPress setting, you will have a lot more control on how things are looked with premium themes and Elementor and all that. But this is just the most basic one that you could get for free, which in this case, you will still see this. You will still see the full blog post opens up in here. You can delete all these blog posts, change them. You can make a blog post about my best 10 mugs 
for dad, best funny mugs 2021, depends on the collections of mugs that you have. As for this part of the logo, we're gonna go back to here, click on appearance and customize. If you don't want to design a logo, you can just keep this one written like this. Because honestly, if you're going to do something similar to a lot of your different types of products, you might not want to design a logo for each and every one of them. But if you do by site identity, you can create a logo, which will automatically send you to buildmylogo.com, which is with WordPress. And that's just right in Mandela Mugs and, you know, view results and just grab one of these. And add them up, or make your own logo using Canva. But for me, for the time being, I am super fine with this saying Mandela Mugs here, but I am missing a site icon. And site icon is what we have here. At the top, I don't. you can't see it right now, but if you go onto Canva, then you see like a C. If you go onto Facebook, you see FB. And a site icon is important, and we're gonna go basically to where we created the 600 by 600 because it's good enough. And honestly, I'm just gonna put in a mug, one of the mugs. Let me just find a good mug that I want. I'm just gonna grab this mug, put it here, stretch it up as much as I can. and download this as PNG with a transparent background, just page number two. Go back to my customizer, select site icon, drag this here, select it. It's already in the same size. This is how it's gonna look at the top. Crop the image. And this is how it's going to look at the top. When people open this in a new tab, this is actually important for Google for you to have. So you need to have that. And now what we have, with, I don't know, two hours of work is a banner that you can design to your liking that will be on each page. Your main page is a variety of your mugs. You have a lot more mugs here. If I go into a mug that I've already edited, what I'm going to see again is the banner. I'm going to see the details that I've created. I'm going to see the mug itself. And if anybody clicks here, they're going to go to the mug itself. You can also change the photo here to include a link. So if anybody clicks on this photo or on this photo, they're going to see the mug too. I can go down to my categories through my main menu and go into the classic mugs or going to the tall mugs and just look around. If someone goes to your About Us page, About Me page, they're going to see a photo of you with all the details you want to write about yourself as a designer. You can add your Redbubble link here. Or you can add all your social media links here. And here you can also have your sidebar. And if anybody goes to blog, you can click on one of your articles and just read an article you wrote about matching sets of mugs. And again, as I said, you know, do best funny mugs, funny mug gifts, mugs for mom, mugs for cat lovers. It, it's all up to the mugs that you have at the moment. And with this, we are pretty much done with this part of this tutorial because we have a website running. Just gonna save the changes and go back to the home. And the thing is, this website is only just visible to me. Only I can see it. So what I need to do is click on launch site. It's going to, again, offer me domains that match what I've done, but I can just skip the purchase and move on with mandelamugs.wordpress.com. If I don't wanna pay any of their hosting plans, I can choose a free plan which will probably include, you know, WordPress ads. WordPress uses this. This belongs to WordPress, not to you. This is their hosting. But this is the fastest way to create a free website that only you have. You can create this for your mugs. You can create this for your fashion items. You can create this for your bath mats and shower curtains. You can make a whole website about socks, about clocks. And I am going to have more tutorials on how to make this fashion oriented. I really do think that I want to make the whole thing, but just open a blog, not open sort of a portfolio, but just how to open a blog to promote my product without the portfolio. Let me know if you guys are interested. And yes, on April, we are going to have a full how to build my website with my own domain and my own hosting. 
And let's get back to me and talk about this some more and talk about what we have coming on April. And we're back to me. What did you guys think? Is anyone still here? <laughs> anyone still watching this? This was such a long video. And it took, actually, honestly, it took forever to edit it, but I'm so proud of this video and I love it so very much. I just really like how you, I think that with WordPress or with any new thing, it's sort of that point where you kind of get it and then you can carry on and do it a lot easier. And I know some people that tried this technique, it took them like two weeks to build the first website and then two weeks to build 10 other more because you can have limitless amount of free websites. So they did like, you know, a website for the mugs, a website for their wall art. They actually even did websites for their Etsy printables, you know, just to support them. And I really hope that you enjoyed this technique. I really do think that I want to make sort of another video about how to create a free fashion blog. Let me know if that is interesting to you guys in the comment section below. I want to wrap up this video by talking about April. When I posted my March schedule, I really got a lot of comments for you guys saying that this is so cool, you know, that I have a schedule that people can track. But in April, as I am moving apartments on the 5th of April, and I still don't know what kind of lighting I will have in the new house, the internet speed and quality. I don't know if I will be able to make a lot more videos every day or, you know, a video every other day. And I really don't know the videos that I can make during that time on specific dates. But I do know that on the 1st of April, I will see you for my next video, summarizing my March goals, talking about my goals for April, for my own passive income business, and keeping you updated with what's going on in my life because I've been getting a lot of questions about comments that I'm making with, you know, being in a veterans group or why my voice is so cut off or why am I moving apartments and stuff like that. So I will be talking about this on the 1st of April when I will go over my March goals that I did not meet again. I feel like this is so nuts because every time I'm making a goals video, it's like, these are my goals and I haven't met them. But I did make a lot of things happen in the month of March. But we are going to have three videos when we're starting April that I think you guys are going to like. Because after the 1st of April, when we're going to have my March goal summarized and my goals for April, the 2nd of April, we're going to have a full video about Fine Art America and why I am taking them on very seriously right now. And they are totally going into my passive income goals for 2021. And on the 3rd of April, we are going to dive in to print on demand and talk about the three main options for print on demand, which are platforms like Redbubble or Society6, which are setting up your own Shopify store using external services or using these external services and suppliers to set up your Etsy shop for print on demand. We're going to go over all of these options. I'm going to tell you what do each of these options means in terms of your branding, how much you need to do marketing, how much it's going to cost you. And we're going to sum all this thing up because I do want to have more tutorials on Shopify and on Etsy print on demand. Later in the month, we will have shop review videos with my dad or with my friends. We will have videos about Instagram marketing for your print on demand, how to make and sell printable stickers on Etsy, how to build your own website with your own domain. And we're going to have a lot more fun in April. And of course, the minute I know my schedule, I'm going to keep you updated. I think that around the 6th of April, I might make a video with a schedule once I'm in my new temporary flat and keep you updated with what's going on in my life and with this channel. Ooh, spooky. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you can have this imagination to take this how to build a website for mugs and just make it for everything else. Make it for socks, make it for a wall art, make it for everything that you want. Let me know if you want me to make an artist based portfolio or website and just let me know what you guys want me to do or what you guys think that would help you in your own print on demand journey. I will see you on the 1st of April with summarizing my March goals and going over my April goals, looking forward to a passive income in 2021 and 2022. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. 
And if you've already seen some of my videos, you know what I'm about to say right now, because the live chat is going to go away in three, two, one, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!